Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and in today's Coffee Break episode, we're going to be taking a look at Lenovo's new P72 and P52 workstation laptops. Uh, you guys might remember from my video last year, uh, but the P51 was one of my favorite CAD design modeling laptops on the market. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy this one. Uh, I'm also excited to say that today's Coffee Break episode is sponsored by BricsCAD. Uh, so I hope you guys will check them out. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about BricsCAD a little later in the video, so make sure you uh, stick around for that. Uh, you can also check out their link in the description below. Let's get started. So as I mentioned, today we're looking at the Lenovo ThinkPad laptops. Uh, these are workstation laptops. I've got both the P72 and P52 to show you today. Uh, they're both pretty similar. They've both been purpose built for uh, design professionals that need a combination of power, performance, and portability. Uh, they're ideal for anybody using CAD or 3D modeling software, uh, making video content or VR content especially. Uh, anything where you need the power and uh, kind of performance of a desktop PC, but you'd also like to be able to move around, work from a coffee shop, go on a business trip and bring your work with you. Both laptops feature Lenovo's legendary durability. Uh, they both feel great in your hand and they come with really amazing specs as well especially for the price. Uh, both include up to six terabytes of storage, as well as up to 128 gigabytes of memory. Uh, as well, you can get up to the 17.3 inch version of the P72 with a 4K UHD display, and that's powered by the NVIDIA Quadro P5200, uh, 16 gigabyte graphics card as kind of the top end. Uh, it'll set you back a little bit, but that's definitely a killer uh, laptop graphics card. On the smaller laptop, the P52, you can get the 15.6 inch display and it comes in up to 4K UHD uh, as well as can be powered with the NVIDIA Quadro P3200 on the top end which is a six gigabyte uh, laptop graphics card. As, as well, that'll power most of your kind of heavy demand software, uh, and I haven't seen or run into any issues so far. All right, so I wanted to take a quick break here to tell you guys a little bit about today's episode of Coffee Break sponsor, BricsCAD. Uh, they're an alternative CAD platform, uh, and I think many of you may be familiar with them. Uh, if not, I definitely recommend checking them out. They offer a really familiar platform uh, for 2D and 3D drafting and modeling uh, that works natively with DWG. It saves and creates them uh, the same as many other big drafting software like AutoCAD, as well as the optional subscription model, uh, which I think a lot of you will appreciate. When we flip over here to the software, you can see the layout uh, is very familiar and similar to what you're probably used to. You've got a lot of the same ribbon options and abilities, as well as some really interesting and unique additional features that I hadn't seen before using BricsCAD. I've been using them for about a month now to kind of get familiar with the software. And one of the things I found really interesting was the quad feature down here. You can turn it on and off along your status bar and it allows you to kind of get contextual menus to edit and work with objects uh, on the fly. So you can see here if I highlight an object uh, and then highlight line here, you have all of these options where you can modify, draw, edit uh, your objects kind of on the fly right from here. It definitely speeds up your workflow. Uh, another great feature is from this little pop-up menu here. If you just select them, you get this menu and can edit them on the fly just by changing them up. You can also change up your layers and your length. 
So that's just one uh, unique and cool feature that I like about BrickSCAD. Uh, but I definitely urge you guys to check them out. Uh, as you can see, they're very familiar. It's easy to make the switch. Uh, and I've already become pretty comfortable drafting in it in just a, a few hours of uh, actual drafting time. Uh, I also really like the fact that it works natively with your old drawings, your XRefs, uh, DWG files, everything's compatible, and I've been really impressed so far. So that's our sponsor for today's episode. I hope you guys check them out. I'll put links in the description uh, where you guys can get a trial from their website. Now let's get back to the coffee break episode. Both laptops also come with Dolby Sound, as well as Lenovo's uh, keyboards, which if you haven't used them, I highly recommend trying them out. Uh, I, I love them. They're easily my favorite laptop keyboard that I've ever used. They have a cupped key, uh, which feels really nice, as well as a short, nice throw. Uh, they also obviously have the Lenovo nipple or track point, which is that little red nib in the middle, uh, which is nice too for traveling, uh, especially if you've used it in the past. It's kind of second nature. Um, I still like the trackpads, which are a good size and have a great feel to them as well. When it comes to uh, ports and features on the laptops, both laptops feature multiple USB 3.1 ports, as well as two USB Type-C uh, Thunderbolt 3 ports, which can be used for power display port as well as faster data transfer. They both come with HDMI ports, uh, four-in-one card readers, headphone jacks, mini display port, as well as a smart card reader, which is optional, and ethernet. As I mentioned before, I really enjoy the keyboards on Lenovo laptops. Uh, they are not only comfortable, but they're also spill resistant, uh, have backlit LED lighting, and they come with full uh, numpads on the right. Uh, it's something that less and less laptops have, but as a designer or drafter, the full numpad can be a lifesaver and save you a ton of time as well when it comes to drafting. Both laptops have pretty good battery life, although I haven't tested it to its extents. Uh, the P52 claims 10 hours and the ThinkPad uh, P72 uh, claims even more at up to 18 hours. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Coffee Break and taking a look at the Lenovo P72 and P52 workstation laptops. Uh, I know I'm a big fan of them. Uh, they're already uh, my favorite workstation so far this year, uh, and I'm sure you guys are going to love them. Uh, definitely take a look. I'll put the links in the description below. And don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you guys would like to see uh, in another episode. Uh, I'd also like to thank BricksCAD for sponsoring the episode, and I really encourage you guys to take a look, try out their trial, and uh, give it a shot. Let me know in the comments what you think. As always, thanks for watching, and cheers.